train is the most convenient means of transport for you to get the misty tourist area. The Tess why it is foreigners first choice when they want to come here. Unlike other train, the Victoria we chose was very convenient. The train services and facilities satisfied all the passengers, even the most fastidious ones. According to the train staff, we would arrive in the Poetic Sapa when we woke up the following morning. The crowded Sapa town is a familiar stopover of visitors to Sapa. This place has ancient French-style architecture, markets selling traditional products, and many other things that are attractive to visitors. We were standing in front of Sapa Stone Church, a symbol of the town. The church is one of the very few French architectural buildings left in Sapa. The stone church was built in 1895 in the center of Sapa town. Its shape and architecture was emulated in Roman Gothic style, according to the shape of the Holy Cross. This place was well known as the Sapa Love Market. A rendezvous for young boys and girls of the ethnic group every Saturday evening. When they went to the weekend market days, the church has been restored and become an indispensable symbol of the Sapa town. Located by the church is a busy market selling all kinds of traditional handicrafts made by Sapa ethnic minority groups. Visitors often buy them as souvenirs before leaving Sapa. Some of the goods here are products of the mountainous area. And many of them are made by skillful locals. Those were simple pieces of brocade still having the smell of jute. And those were beautiful heart and colorful bags. All of them were extremely distinctive. When I was in the market looking at the traditional handicraft, I could hear beautiful melodies from H. Mung Pan Pipe, a typical kind of musical instrument in the northwestern region. The melodies made me love the area even more. Hamrong Mountain lies behind Sapa Stone Church. The place often referred to as the Garden of Eden is an attractive eco-tourist site in Sapa. From afar, the 2000 meter high mountain looks like a dragon head. Climbing up the mountain is an exciting activity to any visitor to Sapa. Tung said it took us about one hour to climb up to Hamrong Mountain Top. There will be a lot of interesting things ahead. Once coming here, 
You will have to admit that Sapa is the kingdom of temperate flowers. On the two sides of the path were hundreds of kinds of wild flowers. From yellow marguerite to round hydrangea, or white apricot or plum blossoms in the mountain creeks. Everything creates a graceful Hamrong tourist area. Going through colorful flower clusters and deep canyons under spring sunshine. We got to the most beautiful place in Hamrong Mountain. From here, you can see the whole Sapa town and many beautiful places in the area. The weather was fine. According to local people, the sunny weather had not appeared in the area for four months. I could see the whole Sapa town hiding at the foot of the mountain. The cloud kept appearing and disappearing making the town beautiful in a unique way. Sapa is attractive with fresh air, unique cultural features and poetic landscape. The spectacular Hamrong Mountain is referred to as the Fairy of Sapa. That is why the mountain draws many visitors. They come here to enjoy the fresh and cool air and to take beautiful photos. We visited Cat Cat Hamlet in the afternoon. This is considered an ancient hamlet of H Mung people. The hamlet with 100 households still has the most special features of H Mung ethnic minority group. The hamlet is just 2 kilometers far from Sapa town so it attracts many visitors. Kat Kat Hamlet has become a tourist area. Each Hmong people in Kat Kat Hamlet must still keep many traditional customs and practices. Such as robbing wife, wedding ceremony and traditional handicrafts. If you are lucky, you will have a chance to attend a traditional wedding ceremony. Or a festival of local people. On the brick path to the hamlet. I was impressed by H Hmong women who were passionately weaving fabric. Or sewing in their houses. With skillful hands, they create many beautiful brocade products with sophisticated patterns. Such as bags, hats, clothes, skirts, wallets or scarves. like other visitors to Cat Cat Hamlet. I could learn more about local ethnic people life and their special customs and practices. Despite changes in life, H Hmong people still keep their traditional costume. A H Hmong woman often wears an indigo rectangular scarf around her head. An indigo blouse that opens in the front and a dress with long laps embroidered with beautiful patterns.
In front of us is a suspension bridge crossing the famous Monghoa stream, which is a highlight of Cat Cat tourist area. Standing on the bridge, I could see the waterfall pouring down. At the foot of the waterfall is a large and flat piece of land. I can feel the water splashing out from the waterfall. I learned that hundreds of years ago, French people built a small hydropower plant here to promote tourism in Sapa. The plant is still in operation currently. After a day of learning about Sapa, I returned to Victoria Hotel in late afternoon. Mist now covered the hills, the roots of the houses and the trees. Sapa changeable weather has made the land attractive to visitors. Victoria Hotel wore a new look in the afternoon. The whole hotel was covered in mist, making the landscape tranquil and romantic. This resort provides the biggest accommodation in Sapa. The hotel features 77 restrooms, two family studios and two suites balconies. The rooms are decorated with traditional handicrafts and facilities of an international hotel. This is a favorite destination of international visitors. The hotel provides all international standard services including accommodation, sightseeing, spa and food. Visitors will have wonderful experience at the hotel. It will be a great choice to enjoy spa services after a long journey. After asking for the spa staff, I could choose a satisfaction service. The spa is located up the hill with many beauty health care and beauty services. With the blend of modern and traditional architecture, the spa will make you comfortable. In a warm space with all kinds of services and great care of the therapist, you will get unforgettable moments. Sapa town has lit up. Winter is coming to the town. Mist covers every corner. The bulbs seem to dispel the cold of the mountains area. Sapa looks really gorgeous at this time. We are enjoying dinner in the restaurant of Victoria Sapa. They are different Asian and European dishes as well as Sapa specialties for you to choose. Having dinner in a romantic space by the fire. We forgot the winter cold outside and enjoy the warmth.